B96. Hey, it's Carla. And I'm Kenya Grace. And we are hanging out here at Lincoln Hall. Welcome to Chicago. Thank you for having me here. Oh, you're welcome. We are the gatekeepers <laughs> of the city and we've allowed you in. Are you enjoying it? It's so cool. I didn't know what to expect, to be honest, but it's very cool. Like, well, very based on like online, did you see anything about Chicago that you were like, oh, this is what it is for me? <laughs> I didn't expect like the architecture to be so cool. Like, I've seen some buildings, they look amazing. That's actually very sick. One of the most like famous things that we have in the city is this architecture boat tour and people oh. just get on it and learn all about the different buildings. This city is old as hell. Really? Yes. Really, well. really, really old. Now, you are performing at Lincoln Hall. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and what is something that you do to prepare yourself to get on stage to make sure that you're in the zone? I try and like um, do like deep breathing. I've been trying to do this one recently that's like four seconds in, hold for two, four seconds out. Apparently that's really good for like nerves, but yeah. Do you get nervous? <laughs> yes, massively, yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, why? I feel like you're so, I mean, you do everything for yourself. So it's like you're in control of your destiny. Yeah, I feel like that's more pressure though. Like, it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's, yeah, I do get like stage fright still. Um, it's definitely got better. It was really bad at the start, but yeah. Well, I feel like everything kind of moved so quickly for you. Yeah. I mean, one day you were making beats in your bedroom and the next day it was like you absolutely blew up. Yeah. What did that day look like for you when that snippet of strangers, because you said you had only written the chorus. Yeah. What was that day like start to finish when your phone started blowing up? I remember it was kind of like, it was a journey actually. I remember I posted it and then I posted it again, I think. I think it was like the second time that I started noticing like loads of people were like making videos with it. And then I remember I did like- I by the way. Okay, so I love that. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember like scrolling through reels or like TikTok or something and I went down like five videos and it was the same. It was just that snippet over you. and over again. I was like, this is crazy actually. Like it was, it's just wild. Maybe. How quickly after that did the ball start rolling? Did the call start coming? Did our friends over there start saying, hey girl, <laughs> come on down? Yeah, it happened pretty fast actually. It was, it's, that time is honestly like a blur. I feel like every day was just mental. Did you feel pressure to want to write more music and to just kind of put out another banger really quickly? I love writing. Like before Strangers, I was like posting like these little clips like every week or whatever. Like I, that's like my favorite thing to do. So I just, I just love doing it. I'll never stop. <laughs> I feel like I recognize your room now. Like if you put, <laughs> I guess I just know it now. Um, how do you set the vibe for yourself? I know you've got the mood lighting, but do you, do you turn on candles do you like silence do you only work at night I do I work in the day actually I feel like I'm really productive like in the morning to be fair morning um, person. yeah <laughs> um but I, I don't know actually I feel like I'm a mixture of both because I love like nighttime writing is like more moody I think than intimate yeah you're most vulnerable yeah. um you have a song where you talk about like there's a video that plays in your mind yeah. and I it reminds me before I had a boyfriend the <laughs> only way that I could fall asleep was literally by making imaginary fake date scenarios in my head I, so that. I heard that and I was like oh god she's in my brain <laughs> do you get all of your inspiration just from your life anecdotes no I, ha I feel like I have experienced like most of the things that I've written about but I take inspiration from like stuff my friends have said and like just like movies and like even like random videos and stuff like that just like stick in your brain you know yeah yeah all those different tropes that are like very common yeah I know that with strangers that we've all been there where you're yeah. so close with someone and then for me it's mainly like friends where you're like how were you my best friend and calling my mom mom yeah and now we're strangers yeah why do you think that people get ghosted Oh, I don't know. It's it's definitely more common now nowadays. I feel like it's easier to do it now. Like you don't have to face the person. You can just like block them, whatever, and like yeah. delete their number and not like not text them again. So it's probably like they're just avoiding dealing with things, which is terrible actually. But yeah. What is one thing that you think would make you want to go someone? Like your little red flag that you're just like I don't know about that. It would have to be they have to do something really bad. It have they have to be like sexist or like oh, racist yeah. or something, something terrible that like I'm we don't like, mess fine. with that in this house. No, <laughs> absolutely not. Yo, how old are you? 25. 25. Okay, so we're on the same age. Isn't it kind of crazy how no matter how old we get, ghosting doesn't get better? Yeah, literally. It's crazy. <laughs> like, I have friends who are like 30 and they're like, no, girl, I got ghosted last week. Literally, dating in, <laughs> dating in Chicago is hell. Brutal. <laughs> <laughs> so up next for you, you got Coachella coming yes. up. And are you excited about that? I am so excited. I'm getting like a bit nervous, but I'm so excited. You're like, performing Saturday. Yeah. Okay. Yay. And so what are you going to do to prep for that? I have no idea. I'm getting my nails done. I'm doing like a full Ooh, like self care okay. like thing before. So I'm really ready. And then, yeah, I think I'm gonna do like 
some breathing exercises, yeah. maybe some rehearsing. <laughs> like, do you ever notice what's going on in the crowd? Because like I know, especially like at Lincoln Hall and whatnot, it's a little more intimate. People normally have their phone out and they'll be like, "Kiss me," oh, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. on their phone. Do you notice that? Or yeah, yeah, definitely. It depends how bright the lights are. Actually, if you're like. If you're getting blinded, then you can't really see their faces. But most of the time, especially when it's like, yeah, more intimate, you can see. I love it when people hold signs up on their phones. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> so that's good. If you're watching, she's actually paying attention. I've asked other artists this before, and I believe it was Tiesto. And he was like, I never look at them because, you know, I'm focused on my music. And I was like, stop. <laughs> I was like, stop. That's a lie. <laughs> you're looking. Especially if someone's like, hey, Tiesto. So, <laughs> right? I feel. I don't know. Um, I did want to play a little game with you. Okay. So your song is called Strangers. And I wanted to show you pictures of two people. And I wanted you to guess if they are dating or if they're strangers. Okay. Are okay. you down to play? Yeah. All right. Two people. Riley and Jovelle. Are they dating or are they strangers? Strangers. They're dating. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. Okay. No, you're fine. You're fine. That's the beauty of the game. At least we're not playing dating or related. Oh Have you God. heard that game? Yeah. yeah. Siblings were dating. I, did, I didn't want to so... embarrass anyone. Okay. <clears throat> Moog and Stacy. Dating? Yeah, they're married. They okay. just had a baby. Oh, congrats. I love that. Okay. <clears throat> Abel and Michelle. I thought they'd be cute dating. They'd be so cute. He's gay. They're not. They're strangers. <laughs> They're strangers. <laughs> All right. I'm going to throw one last one at you, actually. Okay. <clears throat> it's me. It's me and this man named Keelan. Are we dating or are we strangers? Dating? Yeah, we are. Okay, good. Okay, good. <laughs> well, it depends on the day, I guess. No, I'm just kidding. No, we are. We are. I love that. Thank you so much for playing and for being. Thanks. <laughs> Waiting on it. <laughs> Are you dating anyone? Yeah, I am. <laughs> oh my god! He's okay. here. He's here somewhere, somewhere in the. Oh, does building. he actually come to the show? Does he make you nervous or does he bring you like comfort? He brings me so much comfort. He's very calming, and yeah, no, he's great. <laughs> oh, that's it. Do you have anyone else that comes with you besides your boyfriend? Like, do your parents show up? I know it's mm. a weird thing to ask a twenty-five-year-old, but my mom would be here. <laughs> my mom, my mom would love to be here. To be fair, but in the in the UK ones and like in Europe, then yeah, but like here's really far away. They've got jobs to do and things. So yeah. Um, how long are you gonna be in Chicago while you're here? Literally leaving tomorrow morning. Oh, so, okay. Hello. Well, hello. while you're on the plane, make sure you're looking out and say hello to the Bean. I it's literally took the best video ever. Like like flying in, it's so beautiful. It's amazing. Oh, I'm excited to see it. <laughs> hey, it's Kenya Grace, and this is Carla's Quick Five. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <clears throat> Last thing you ate? Uh, an avocado sandwich toasty thing. Oh, okay. I love That's that. That's very nice. I'm good. <laughs> Did you put like the everything seasoning on it? Or? I don't know. We're just honestly. playing. <laughs> All good. What is the last thing that you Googled? Mm, I think this is so boring. I think it was literally my, where I'm staying for my Coachella. Like <laughs> the, by the Airbnb where I'm staying, I think it was literally that. You're like, like let me look at reviews <laughs> really quick. Let me look it up. <laughs> yeah. What is one thing that you wish that you were better at? Hmm. Hmm. I, I honestly, I wish I was better at production. Probably, like I always like want to be better at that. So yeah. It says so. the person who writes, produces, <laughs> and sings all of her music. It's like a never-ending <laughs> thing, though. Like you can always like get better and better. Like yeah, probably that. What is one thing that you're manifesting for yourself this year? That Coachella goes well, probably. <laughs> yeah, I know. No mistakes. No, we're not gonna be nervous. No forgetting the words. Nothing. Uh -uh, boyfriend's gonna be in backstage. <laughs> Every time that you get nervous, just look at him or somebody. <laughs> Somebody do this one. <laughs> Lastly, if we looked at your TikTok for you page, what would we know about Kenya Grace? Okay, it's mainly loads of music stuff, like loads of like producers, writers, loads and loads of that, and then like loads of like food stuff. Honestly, are yeah. you are you a foodie? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. But do you know how to cook, or did you like watching the videos? No, I just love. I love. <laughs> I actually love like like finding like little cool places to get like good food in Ooh. London and stuff. So yeah, Chicago's a big city for food. I know you Ooh. just tried the deep dish for the first time. What were your thoughts? It's crazy. It's okay not to like it. I no, don't. I like. I like it. I like it. It's, it's a vibe. Really? It's a vibe. It's not what I expected no. at all. Like. <laughs> It's like a cake, right? Yeah. Like a soupy cake. Yeah, it's like a pie or something. I don't know. It's crazy. <laughs> well, I've had so much fun getting to know you. I'm wishing you the best of luck today at Lincoln Hall. Thank and you. you just got a new EP out, right? Shout it out. Yes, it's the aftertaste. Go check it out.